Hello everyone, welcome to Lighthouse Stamping with Lorraine. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator in Vancouver, Washington. Thank you for joining me today. Before we get started, the housekeeping notes. All the product I'm using and all the dimensions will be listed below. There's a link to my online store if you wish to purchase any of these products. There's my email if you have any questions. We'd love to have you join our Facebook group. There's a link there for that. And finally, remember to like, share, and subscribe on YouTube and set the little bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Now, setting that little bell is gonna be important over the next few weeks. Um, my mother has been in the hospital for a few weeks and she has returned home. She returned home on Christmas Eve and she requires a, quite a bit of care. Um, so my videos are gonna be very sporadic over the next few weeks until she's back up on her feet. Um, so I wanted to let you know that. Um, I can tell you there will not be a vi video on New Year's Day um, I'm going to try to do at least two videos a week right now, but we're going to have to see how she goes with her physical therapy and stuff. So thank you for your patience and um, please continue to watch my channel and help me grow, but it's going to be sporadic for a while. So mini catalog, still can't show you, it's not January 4th, but we're going to use a suite out of this catalog and it is on page, I wrote the pages down, there we are. It's on page 22, 23, 24, and 25. It's called Perennial Lavender. It is a mega bundle. What I call a mega bundle, mega suite. There is two stamp sets and two dies. Try to get a little glare out of there. First one is Painted Lavender, and there is dies to cut all this out. I'm not gonna, sh some of the dies are right there, but I'm not gonna show them all. I have many of them already set aside because we're gonna be using them. And then there is Perennial Postage, which has some great dyes in it right here. I haven't used these yet. Hopefully I'll do something with those next week. And there are some beautiful sentiments in this. And we are gonna be using Sending Love and Best Wishes from this perennial postage set. So those are the two stamp sets and dyes. Now there's some other product in here. I'm gonna bring it in this way. There is some gems. We have Berry Burst, Gorgeous Grape, and um, Highland Heather. And there's two sizes, small and medium. I think they're four and five millimeters. Very beautiful. There's also, <laughs> this one's already popped out. He wants to go, but we're not using him today. There's these beautiful die cut butterflies. And so they are just gorgeous. You get 40, 40 of them in the pack. There is eight sheets, five on each. So you get eight of each kind. And we're going to be using this little guy right here. You see how easy they pop out. They're very fragile. I mean, they're they're just thin paper, but you can blend on them and stuff. And we'll be doing something with this little guy today. So I'll set him off to the side. Get those over there. And then there's some beautiful paper. I love the neutrals in this. Oop, I need, can't set that there. I got a, something wet. I don't want to set anything wet on there. Just got some really pretty paper. The back sides are just as beautiful as the fronts. It's gorgeous stuff. This last one. I think this last one might be one of my favorites. I like this one. And then there's this one. The colors, the paper is called Perennial Lavender. You see the name is the sweet. And the colors in this is Berry Burst, Blackberry Bliss, Fresh Freesia, Gorgeous Grape, Highland Heather, Lost Lagoon, Orchid Oasis, Pretty Peacock, Shaded Spruce, and Starry Sky. So it's quite beautiful. So let me set this off to the side. And let me show you what we're making today. There is our envelope. And this is the card. I made a little spray there for our focal point and it opens up like this. And it stands like that. This is a WZ card. W WV card, not a WZ, it's a WV card. 
So that's what we're going to make today. Now, I used Gorgeous Grape on this one, and this time I'm going to use Highland Heather. So I'll set that off to the side here. And we're going to do some stamping first. And we're going to need our envelope. You're going to need three pieces of white that are two and three quarters by two and three quarters for this card. We're going to stamp on two of them. Oops. I'll set the other one off to the side. And we're going to need a little piece of scratch paper. Actually, we're going to need a couple pieces of scratch paper. So I'm going to start, I think we're going to start with the envelope and the very back piece. This back here. I just have my mat with my blending brushes. This from my sitting there. So first we're going to start with some gorgeous grape. And the perennial lavender or the painted lavender set is a photopolymer. So I'm going to grab a mat. And there's these lovely little butterflies in here. And I'm going to stamp them down in the corner on this. This is the piece for you to write on. So set them there. And I'm going to do our envelope with those cute little butterflies as well. Okay. And we'll leave that open for a few minutes here. Next, we're going to do the next piece. And we're going to use a couple different stamps. There is grab this because it's easier to see on here. There's this here and this little stamp here. This puts your greenery down and this allows you to add some color to it. And I'm going to use Lost Lagoon on mine. And I'm going to come over. I'm going off just a little bit. Overlapping ever so slightly there, like that. And I think we're done with Lost Lagoon. I'm going to open up some Highland Heather. We're going to do Highland Heather first. I'm going to put Highland Heather and um, Gorgeous Grape in these. And when you look at this, you can see the flowers. When you, If it's upside down, they all look like they're cones going this direction. When you turn it the right way, they look like they're pointing up. Now you could take and do this down here into the greenery so there's new flowers coming up. Or you can make sure that they're on the tops like that. I am just gonna do a combination of both because you know they never grow at the same height, same time. And then I'm gonna grab some gorgeous grape. I'm just gonna stamp that a couple times because I'm going into a much darker color. And we'll put some gorgeous grape up high and some down lower, just like that. Builds a nice little scene real fast. And then the sentiment on the inside we are going to be using is sending love and best wishes. And I sure didn't put that very straight on the block. Just one moment here. Getting it set up straight on the block does help. I don't really need the mat. You can stamp on it. It won't hurt it. Just like that. Okay, so that's our centerpiece. Setting this one moment. I want to make sure I set them all in the right place here. The next pieces we need are going to be the pieces we need to die cut. And we're going to be doing a couple different things. These two here, which is this one here and this one here, these two. You can use them several different ways. I'm going to be overlapping them, but there is this stem. If you wanted to do these two, you could, and then put them on top of the stem here. This, you could put these on top of this and this. They just sort of mix and match and you know play around with it. 
And when you look in the catalog, you can see some really good examples, but I can't show you in there. So I'm going to grab a couple of these. We need three of these for our card. And I'm going to start with the smallest one here, the smallest piece. And I'm going to use Gorgeous Grape. Just like that, and I'm going to do three of them. I'm going to space them out so I have room to cut and stamp the other piece. You can stamp them up to, straight up and down. I just have a narrower piece. That's why I'm doing it this way. And then the other one we're going to color we're going to use is Highland Heather. What's fun about these? Yes, it's painted lavender, but you could use any colors you wanted. And sometimes they look like lavender, but to me, sometimes they look like hollyhocks as well. Now, when you look at this stamp. You can see the little V at the bottom here. It lines up with this V right here, and you can see where the stem goes through. And you line up the top and the V and the stems. And it goes like that. I need to move this a little closer to me. So we're going to be die cutting those with some other stuff. And the next thing we need to do is we do need our sentiment for the front. Now there was no happy birthday in this, these two, this two stamp sets. So I pulled in circle sayings because I wanted a happy birthday. And we're just going to do that in gorgeous grape. And I'm putting them right about here. Just like that. I believe that's all the stamping. So we'll set him aside for the moment. Now, the next step we need to do is we need to get out our cut and emboss machine. Now, all these dies in the perennial set, the painted lavender, do go through the mini. However, I'm going to be using an embossy folder, so I'm getting out the large one, getting out auto here. We can also cut out a few more pieces at one time. But we're going to do auto first. So I need plate one and plate two. This is our third piece here. And we are going to be using... These are the 3D Im Im basic embossing folders that are on in the online exclusives. And this is the one with the little checks on it. Just gonna slide that in and run that through. This is the backdrop for our flowers. Whoa, <laughs> that went flying. So we have some beautiful texture on that. And we'll add some more to that in a few minutes. Okay, now we need Plate two and three on top of one. And we're going to start doing some die cutting. And we'll get several on these on here one time. This is a standalone green piece of green. And we're going to die cut this twice. So I'll put him on there. And then I grabbed some glimmer paper. This is the Pretty Peacock. This is Highland Heather. There's also um, Petal Pink. They are um, on the online exclusives. And so visit there to get the pretty glimmer paper. And I'm gonna scoot that over because we're gonna do two of him. And this is another standalone die in the set. And this is another standalone die. And it actually cuts out two sprigs. So we all have to run this one one time to get the two pieces we need. So I'll set that there. And I think we'll come back and get the rest in a minute. Okay. 
Okay. So this is the one we just did with this one. And it is glimmer paper, so you remember it does, does sometimes stick. We just have to pull it out. And you're going to get that beautiful stalk of lilac, lavender there. And then there's another one here that's shaped differently. And there's this one. So I'm setting these all over here. And then here is our green ring here. And this is out of Lost Lagoon. And a big piece here. Well, I'll worry about getting the piece out in a minute. No, maybe I'll get it out now. Like that. And like I said we need to cut him out one more time. And this is the one out of the pretty peacock paper. And we'll finish getting the pieces out of him in a minute. We need one more of him. This one. And this one. And I believe I have just enough paper to get one more of that. Now these we need to cut out as well. Shorten that up so it fits. And there is a die for that as well. Post it. And we'll cut those out. It flipped off a little bit off to one end of that big one, but it's fine because we're not going to use that tip in here. Here's our last piece of Pretty Peacock. There we go. And our last piece of Lost Lagoon, which is decided to stay in the die for a second. We'll just pop him out. There we go. Okay. And here is one of our lavender sprigs we just did. Now, I need three of them. I stamped three, but I already had one cut out already. And so we only have to cut one more of these. And I'll just save that one for something later. Just like that. And I'll throw them in the case and I'll have them for some other project. Taping this because my boat, this is a little on the boat side. I've been trying to do it, but it's, it just happens with plates. It doesn't matter what brand of plate it is or who the manufacturers, they all bow. I haven't found one that has it yet. There is the second one, and I have the third one over here already. Okay. Gathering all the pieces up, I put the Stampin' Cotton Boss machine away. Get it out of our way. Okay. Well, oh. all right. The next thing we need to do is this beautiful piece of white paper with the um, texture on it from our embossing folder. White behind it looked a little dull. The color in the paper that we're going to be using, it's a shade of crumb cake, but it's not a full strength crumb cake. I tried running this through the embossing folder and it was way too dark. Matter of fact, I will show you it. I ran it through the embossing folder and this ink the embossing folder and ran it through. It was way too dark. So we need lighter. So I'm going to grab the crumb cake and show you what you can do with the 
in glass mat that you can't do before. You notice I'm not putting a piece of paper down. I'm going to use the glass mat. I'm loading this up. I'm going to tap off my ink so I don't have too much here. I'm going with a light hand on here just to add a little bit of color. Now, instead of going back on here, I tapped off a bunch. I'm gonna grab some of that ink to finish this off. I need the sides a little darker than the center, but it's, I'll that up so you can see. There's a big difference in the crumb cake. This is much lighter and subtle. So, so yeah, we have a little blob of crumb cake there, but that's okay. We'll just take and do this with my little wet mat and the crumb cake is now gone. And this piece is now back in the trash can. <laughs> okay, so we're getting our pieces all gathered up to build the card here. We have to punch and do some blending on this little piece here. This is our happy birthday. I'm using my oval punch, you know, my favorite one. I'm gonna line that up in here. While we're blending, we're gonna do some more blending. We also have this beautiful little butterfly like that and our happy birthday. I'm going to take some gorgeous grape. You could take Highland Heather too. It both would work. And we're going to work on the butterfly first. Doing the same thing. Now be very gentle with these. I just want to add a little color. This is why I went with the grape because I wanted something a little darker than you can get these as dark as you want by adding. Now let's pick up a little more of this color. I just wanted to add a little bit of color to him. And you could really, you know, if you wanted to make him a lot darker, you could. Actually, I want to add a little more to him. On the sides here, right on the edges. A little he's upside down but he's now that color now for the happy birthday I didn't want it stark white off to the side so I'm just going to tap around very lightly just to get a little shadowing around there just like that okay I do believe we're done playing with the ink now so I'll grab my rag and just water on this. I can tell you, you can use glue and stuff on here. If you get glue on it, use um, alcohol. San uh, hand sanitizer works really well. I love this glass mat. It's really nice. So let's build this card. The first thing we need to do is we need some paper. And this is our Highland Heather. This is 11 by five and a half. You're going to need Actually, you need, I'm going to show you these other pieces. This is six by three, and this is three by three. That is one sheet of paper with that piece left over. So cut this, then you'll have three inches. Cut this at six and three, and you're ready to go. But now to scoring. I get my measurements here so I make sure I don't mess up. Okay, we're going to score at one and three fourths. We are going to score at three and a half. All these dimensions and measurements will be listed below. Five and a quarter. And I'll extend my arm out here because we need seven. Just like that. Now, this piece that was six 
by three, we need to score that at three inches. Just like that. And we are done scoring. It's pretty easy. So I'm gonna grab the large piece here and I'm going to fold this first. And burnish it. Now the next one's gonna fold backward and do a mount, a valley and a mount. But I'm gonna move it this way so I don't get crease lines. If you do it on top of here, you're gonna get crease lines. The next one we're folding out. The next one, I'm folding this way. So when you look at it, you have a valley, a mountain, a valley, a mountain. Just like that. I think my measurements may have been a tad off when I did it, but it'll be okay. It will still fit in an envelope. We've got plenty of room, so it's fine. And if your measurements are off, I'm gonna show you. See, I'm off for just a little bit, but it's fine. I must have not looked at my measurements exactly right, but it will work. And then we have this one, we're just gonna fold in half and burnish. Okay, now we need some pieces for the card itself. You're gonna need I use two different patterns. You need four pieces, as soon as I, oh, there it is. Four pieces that are five and a quarter by one and a half. I'm checking my measurements, yes, one and a half. And this is five and a quarter up and down, three and three fourths. Now, this is all directional paper, so if you're, this at least what I chose was directional. If yours is directional, you know, I think I made a really big mistake, and this may not work. Hang on here. I'm checking something. I think I really, this will not work. I am off so far is, and I'm gonna show you what I did. I measured this one at one and three fourths. That's why nothing's working right. If that happens, you just save this to use for something else. And we're gonna start over. I make mistakes just like everybody else. So, we will grab another piece of Highland Heather. And you can watch me cut it. And I will do it slower so I don't make a mistake. I need this to be, I make sure I get my measurements right. It needs to be 11 by five and a half. This happens to everyone. You look at your thing and you get the mark wrong. It's, you know, it happens. We're human. So let's try to do this better, Lori, this time. Okay. This is one and three quarters is the first one. The next one is three and a half. The next one is five and a quarter. I'm doing this slow, so I make sure I don't make a mistake. The next one is seven. I'm looking at this. Hang on. I cut this wrong wrong. That's the problem. Hmm. I told you I've been busy and preoccupied lately. That one probably would work, the other one, but I cut a new one. We'll start over. Now I look at that one. If it works, I'll make it go again. Sorry. My mind has been of other places the last few weeks. And any of you have elderly parents, you understand this. Okay. That one looks better. <laughs> okay. Let's glue some paper on. That one fits better too, doesn't it? Okay. 
I almost hate covering up this beautiful paper. I love this one. So pretty. But all this will be available on January 4th. There's that one. And then what I decided to do, I'm going to stagger these. I'm going to use this one here and this one here. And then these guys, which are also directional, like that. Pretty just like that. Now we're going to take our piece that this is the piece that's going to go just like this. So on the front side here, this is where we're going to put our embossed piece here, just like that. And the back side of this is going to be this piece. I found it easier to put these pieces down first before we build the car the front of the card. So we're going like that. So what we're going to do is we take all the little xylophone we've got here, you know, accordion here, not xylophone, accordion. And what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to put this in my grid here. What I want to do is center this, so I've got about five, two, three, four, five. So it's right in the center, about like that. Okay, and I'll let that go up. And I know how much we can only put glue on this piece right here. That's like that, and then you have to hold it for just a minute. And then flip this over. And once again, you're just putting a little bit of glue here. Don't go past where your panel's gonna go, just like that. And while we're doing that, I'm going to grab a block and throw on there. And we're waiting for that to dry. This is that three by three piece of Highland Heather and our piece first signing with the butterflies on it. Just like that. Okay. We'll keep him. We're going to be using him again. All right, what you want to do, the easiest way is to line this up. And you've seen me do this on other cards. Line this up so you're right inside where that is. You're going to add adhesive all over the back of this. And then you're going to close this. Now the room's a little on the dark side. I've got the windows and everything open and every light I have, but it is very dark and gloomy outside. I think the street lights are still on and it's about 11 o'clock in the morning. So that, you open it, you can see all that. Okay, this block, I'm gonna set right here. Make it another one to hold the bottom. And we're gonna get all the pieces we have here that we built up. We have our greenery. Now I do need to do a little bit of cleaning here. Got a few extra little pieces here. 
you need to get out. Just like that. And this one is all clean, and this one is all clean. And this one has, there's like three. There. When you look at the back, you can see it on the glimmer paper. There's three little holes that need to come out. And this one has two. Like that. It's hard to see them. Okay, and we have our butterfly. And we have our three leaves. Okay, I'm going to start with the green ring here. This, And I'm going to bring this one over so I can see it. Okay, I'm going to do a little surgery on this piece. <clears throat> Just one moment. Okay. What I need to do is I need to do a little stamp surgery here. And I'm going to clip this one off down here. Let's see where I'm going here? Here. And then there's a little piece where it's a hook together with the other side. I'm just going to curve it so it looks like that. So now I have two stalks. I'm going to do it again. It's down on the inside piece here I'm clipping. And then I'm going to come in here and just sort of curve it. So I have two more pieces. So the two longest pieces are going to go across here. Now you could build this before you put it on, but it's easier when it's on here because you can see that you're inside the framework of your card. And I'm just going to use a little bit of glue. Doesn't take much. Does need to come out. I'm just going to spread dots of little glue all over here. I'm not trying to add, I'm not going to be adding, I'm going to use a couple dimensionals, but I'm not adding dimensional on the foliage because this card is very bulky. Without any other dimensionals, you need additional postage. I can tell you that because I need to make sure it's hand canceled because it is very bulky or hand deliver it. And then you can use as many dimensionals as you want. So we're just doing that. And then the other two, we're going to go from this side and then the other side. Now, now remember, you don't put the glue out where you're going to be off on here because it needs to open up, okay? But like here, it doesn't matter because you're going to be on the card. But out here, no glue on the outside. I want that to come off a little further. And there can be a gap here because you're going to put other stuff over it. So it's fine. Like that. Now we're going to add some sprigs. And I think we're going to go ahead and add these first. These are going to come off this direction. So remember, don't go clear to the top on here. It should be coming off the card. And I want it sort of off to the angle here. That's why I didn't use the, uh, the sticky back adhesive on these because um, Part of it's going to be off the card. Now this one is going to be off the card part way too. So I'm going to come off this direction. Just like that. Now these guys, they have really long stalks. <laughs> so I've clipped off the stalks. We don't need them on these two. And these guys are going to come up like this and like that. Actually, the other way around. Now, 
has to help hold this on here so it's easier for me to deal with while well, I'm waiting for glue to dry. You always need a pair, second pair of hands. And blocks work great for that. And we'll take that one off this way a little ways. Okay, now we have these guys. We're going to put one going straight up. There's a lot of bulk there, so, but we're going to be covering that up too. And these guys are going to come off like this, off at this angle. So when we're putting glue on this half that's going to be on the base here, and I'm coming down so I'm not overlapping this too much. We're going to have a little, our little uh, sentiment right there, so it's fine. And this one, I'm going to come off. Yeah, I've got to tuck him in just a hair more because I want to stay inside the framework of my card. Just like that. Okay. Now we need our sentiment and we are going to pop that one up on dimensionals i'm not pretty one in the center because we got a lot of bulk right in the center what i want to do is i want to put that right about there covers up all of the uh, stems now our butterfly I'm going to give him a little bend, not much. And I'm going to use glue dots on him. And where's my tape? Hang on here. There it is. I'm going to take glue dot and I'm going to grab him and I'm going to roll him up in a little ball. I'm going to put one on the back end of the butterfly. Just like that. And I'm going to grab one more. Rolling them up in a little ball here, like that. And putting him on the front. If you try to put them on flat, they'll be sitting out. And then I'm going to put him just there, like that. We're almost done. And you could add more foliage and stuff if you wanted. You know, make the card yours. Okay, now we need our bling. Okay. I showed you the bling. There it is. I just hit it. Hiding stuff for myself. Now this was Highland Heather. I use Gorgeous Grapes. So I'm going to use Highland Heather on this one. I'm going to use one large one. And then put a large one over here this time. Small one on the happy birthday, and another small one. I'm gonna put it right there. So, there is our Highland Heather happy birthday card. It stands up like this. This is the first one I made out of gorgeous grape. Is let me know if you like the gorgeous grape or Highland Heather, which one you like better. I'm not sure. I like them both, actually. <laughs> oh, we are missing one other thing. I almost forgot. The butterfly. It needs winked. Keep in mind that will change the color because it will pick up the color and move it. I should have did this before I put him on here. So I'm being very careful. If you're going to wink your butterfly, do it before you put it on the card. I think I managed. Because you can definitely tell the difference when you put Wink Estella on the butterflies. So there's our card for today. 
I hope you enjoyed it. Stand up like that. So thank you for joining me today. I will be back as soon as I can. I'm hoping by next Wednesday I'll have a video. I'm going to try to stick to my schedule, but like I said, it's dependent on what is required of my assistance for my mother. So I will see you next time and everybody have a wonderful new year and God bless you all.